Hey everybody, it's me, Dory. I am back with an update on my recent surgery that I had. Uh, normally this is a weight loss surgery channel, which I continue, will continue to be that. Uh, usually I will talk about um, updates regarding weight and weight loss and, and um, cooking and what I'm eating and things like that. But recently I ended up having a surgery so I wanted to kind of go over um, what I had done and um, how I'm feeling and recovery. As you can see, I'm a little bit more um, tired than usual. I'm having a hard time getting um, a lot of energy to really do things. Today is day four. So let me back up and just introduce myself. I'm Dory, I'm 49 years old five foot four inches tall and on September 12th of 2016 I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy, gastrectomy weight loss surgery with Dr. Darren Tischler at Hartford Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. My uh, highest recorded weight was 350 pounds. I was 300.5 the day of surgery and I was just down to about 175 between 175 and 177 right before I went in for surgery. Um, I did weigh myself this morning, but it's not gonna be like, a, con like a, a true weight because of the surgery. So on Thursday um, of last week, I was scheduled to have um, surgery that is, um, it was to remove endometriosis tissue. Endometriosis tissue uh, usually grows inside your uterus and for some reason, at some point in my life, mine started growing on the outside. And normally, uh, if you have endometriosis, you have a hard time having children and things of that nature. You have heavy periods, things, things like that. I have always had heavy periods for many years, and then they, I have an IUD in. Um, not that it's birth control at all. We're both fixed. <laughs> and so, or not, sorry, I'm not fixed. He's fixed. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. So, but anyhow, so I had the IUD put in in 2018 to help with the, the um, rough periods that I was having. And about two years ago, I had got rushed to the hospital because I was in excruciating pain and I thought that it was um, uh, kidney stones. Uh, then they diagnosed me, they, they thought that I had pulled a muscle in my stomach, just all of these things. And then finally they went ahead and gave me um, a lot of ultrasounds and MRIs and everything when I was in the hospital last year. Last October was a year. And um, so they went ahead and gave me um, those tests. And on those tests it revealed that one of my ovaries and a fallopian tube and stuff were infected. So they treated me for the infection and then they noticed that there was a lot of uh, tissue and mass inside my, my pelvic area and they thought, <coughs> excuse me, they thought that um, it was scar tissue, um, but I hadn't had a lot of surgeries and so um, they kept looking further and further in this so they determined that it was actually um, the pain that I had been experiencing for about two years and everything else, the bloating and things like that was from the endometriosis tissue. So Thursday morning, I went in for surgery. I arrived at the hospital at 7.30. Um, I went ahead and checked in myself because that day was the first day that they lifted a ban on having people in with you. Uh, so my husband just dropped me off. And so um, nine o'clock was my surgery. Um, Prior to that, they came in, they gave me, you know, some stuff to help me to calm down or whatever. Um, and they were going to use propofol. The anesthesiologist came in and everything. And I like propofol because it's, it's usually you're very quick under and very quick out of it. And so the surgery was supposed to be two and a half hours and they were supposed to remove all of the tissues, uh, t the tissue. And if there were any adhesions, um, which is, you know, it could be stuck to anything. It could be stuck to my bowels, my intestines, anything. Um, then they would work the best that they could to remove as much as they could and without affecting, you know, my bowels and everything. And then while they were in there, they were taking out my right ovary. And all this time I thought it was my left, but it was my right ovary that had a cyst. And then a mass that she described about this big that she thought was endometriosis tissue. And she was just going to put a bag in. They did it all laparoscopic 
put the mass in and then shrink it down and pull it out. Normally they do that in case it's cancerous, um, but all of the testing and markers that I did beforehand in blood work um, showed that it, it wasn't cancer. This is not a, a, a cancer thing. This was just that there was so much endometriosis and so much um, infection over the years or whatever. So I went in for surgery at nine o'clock. They wheeled me in. I only remember putting myself on the operating table. And then I literally do not even like, I don't even remember anybody walking over to me. I remember meeting with my, my surgeon beforehand when she just came to work. Um, she told me what she was going to do. And then, um, that was it. I was out like so quick. I woke up in recovery. I think it was like, I don't know. I want to say 1 30, 1 15. They were in surgery instead of two and a half hours. They were in surgery for four hours because they found that a lot of the tissue did adhere to my organs. So when they called my husband and gave him an update, they said that, um, they just took their time because they wanted to make sure that they didn't disrupt anything. And so they took a bunch out and they took my right ovary as far as I know. Now I have not had my follow-up appointment. I'm only on day four. So I had that surgery Thursday and today is Monday. So I got home Thursday at four, um, maybe about 4.15, 4.30. And I have been up in my room since because I'm just, I can't do the stairs yet and I'm still on narcotics. I asked them to give me, <coughs> excuse me, I asked them to give me, instead of give me oxycodone, I asked them to give me Dilaudid. That is a drug that is half oxy and half morphine. I, the only reason I asked for that is because it works very quickly. And I had it during my weight loss surgery and it was really, really good. So I only have a few left. Let me see. They gave me 15 to come home and uh, I have two left. So um, I'm using those really just maybe once a day, maybe overnight, just so I can get some sleep and it'll take away the pain. Otherwise, I'm also on um, ibuprofen 600 milligrams um, every six hours. I take these and then I take normal um, 1,000 milligrams of, of uh, Tylenol. So, um, so anyhow, so I got home on Thursday to, tell, to say that I was in pain is an understatement when they took me out of the the room and now the only time that I can compare any kind of pain to is you know birthing six children having my appendix removed having my weight loss surgery and then this surgery this was by far the worst <clears throat> when I had to get up to go use the bathroom after surgery I, I can't even describe like my insides just felt like they were missing or like I don't know it was just it was horrible so I would have to take forever to get there and I was in so much pain and then by the time my husband came to get me they actually wanted him to come get me at like right after surgery if I got out at 1 o'clock they wanted him there like 1 30 it was crazy but he had to pick up our kids so I stayed longer and everything and they have you get dressed yourself it was crazy I, I mean I could have saw that I should have probably stayed over at least one night so right before he picked me up I hadn't had any pain medication and I had been sitting there the whole time and so if I was laying down I didn't really have a whole lot of pain but as soon as I stood up or sat up oh it was horrible so um, they uh, gave me two oxycodone I was just screaming in agony um, when I got up to use the bathroom and so um, they gave me the two oxycodone while I was waiting for him to come get me and then he brought me home and to walk from my car, I had a pillow. I, I actually, they gave me a hospital pillow to take because I had it on my stomach. I was holding my stomach. And so I was holding that and to get out of my car to walk right to my steps. I only have two steps to walk up, then the third to get into my living room and then right up the stairs to come to my bedroom. That was horrific. My poor children were waiting to see mommy and to greet me with a hug and they could not even come near me. I was in so much pain. So I went upstairs, I laid down, I got my pain meds under control. I got the um, timer. My husband, the first night, he said it every three hours so I could be taking some kind of pain medication, which was what the doctor told me to do. It was just terrible. And so Friday I got up and it was still more of the same, a little bit of tiredness, a um, little bit of pain. If I laid down, I was better. My husband has it where I have two pillows behind me. This is my bed I'm sitting on now. Uh, my TV's right here 
and then my my you know my head goes there and then where I'm sitting is actually where a pillow would go and I put my legs on top of a pillow I am still a little bit of bloat uh, bloated <clears throat> during surgery my throat as you can tell they use a breathing tube down my throat so when I woke up that was like for three days that was uh, sore and so now I'm really trying to get get my throat uh, not so sore uh, also I have a lot of um, congestion in my chest and so they want me to try to cough and, and get it out and that's all from the anesthesia and being under and then this shoulder was like so excruciating pain every time I breathed and so they told me that it's all the gas and everything that they give you um, in surgery and so they have me taking uh, stool softeners uh, I'm taking gas um, gas X um, chewables I'm taking omeprazole because I was getting some kind of um, every time I would try to eat something I would get a little bit of um, heartburn so I've been taking those also those are good to take when you're a weight loss surgery patient you have to take NSAIDs I know people say that you can't take them but obviously life happens and you have a surgery like this and you have to take them um, and the Motrin that they give you they give it to you on purpose because uh, for the pain relief but also for the swelling um, so I have four incisions um, right across my stomach. So there's, you know, one, one here, one where, uh, right above my belly button, one up to the left of that, and then to the left of that. Um, <clears throat> I did notice as I was showering yesterday morning that my whole left side is all black and blue. Where my stretch marks are, they're like puffy. Um, so that they must have had to roll me on my left side for some reason and I am like beaten up over there um, when I went into surgery I had one IV here that had my IV fluids and where they're giving me medication when I woke up from surgery I had a second one here so she did mention the anesthesiologist when she came to visit me when I was out of there she said that I was shaking apparently and I know that I normally do that if I have um, some kind of um, uh, like propofol or I don't know something like that that I, I start shaking so apparently I was shaking a lot and they gave me a shot of Demerol which I was shocked to even know that they give that my mom had that when she gave birth to me which is you know 50 years ago or 49 years ago so but anyhow so they gave gave me that uh, for the shaking and then of course after I got out of surgery or whatever the shaking went away um, so now fast forward the four days i'm here now thankfully my husband has been off since last thursday so he took thursday and friday off he has the weekend off and then he, he took off monday and i'm gonna have to t have him take off tomorrow and i believe wednesday as well because i can't drive and so that means i can't drive one of my girls to school in the morning um because i'm still taking the narcotic and i have to be narcotic free for um 24 hours before i can drive so if I finished, you know, with them today and tomorrow, then by Wednesday, I should be able to bring her to school and pick her up after. Um, but I'm very tired. Um, I tire out extremely easy. Um, my mind is going a million miles an hour doing, you know, wanting to do the things I normally do, bend down, pick up things, you know, fold laundry, things of that nature, which my husband right here, I have a little laundry that he brought me up that I could fold. So at least I could feel like I'm doing something. Um, but he's been great. He's been taking good care of me. He brings all my meals upstairs. I have not walked back downstairs just because I don't want to do the stairs yet. Um, I can choose to do something and then I have to go and rest. So like I'm choosing to make this video now and then this is going to take all I have out of me and I have to go rest again. And um, if I take a shower, I can go take a shower. I can blow dry my hair, which I did this morning. I can get dressed, um, but then I have to lay down. So I took a shower about an hour ago, went and laid down for a little while, then I got up to do the video and then I couldn't just sit up anywhere, I don't know, I wasn't comfortable, so then I had to wait a little while. But now I'm taping now, so that way you guys can have an update. I am pretty bloated still. Um, up here, there's nothing up here and there's nothing way, way low. It's just like where my belly button is in a line like that, there's four. Um, there's band-aids that are on top of steri strips and then the the stitches and so the steri strip will come off between one and two weeks they'll fall off themselves but two band-aids I took off and two band-aids I couldn't because the two band-aids that I have on there it's because when I started to peel them a little the steri strip stuck to the band-aid and I don't want to have that exposed yet it's too soon so um, so this is what day four looks like um, I'm gonna be up here definitely for today and definitely tomorrow I may try to do the stairs on Wednesday.
morning when the kids go off to school so that way I'm able to um, you know do it a little bit at a time maybe even tomorrow before they go to school I may be able to um, but I'm trying to um, definitely get as much help as I can getting up and walking around and resting as much as I can so this is day four thanks guys for all the prayers and well wishes and um, I hope to be back at it and doing my normal stuff very soon thanks